an object that has an equal number of positive and negative charges is said to be electrically neutral or uncharged. A hydrogen atom, for example, consists of a single proton in the nucleus and a single electron, and the positive charge on the proton exactly balances the negative charge on the electron, so the atom as a whole is, elect is electrically ne neutral. And most atoms are that way. They have a certain number of protons and a certain number of electrons, and they balance out the overall charge is said to be zero. And not only individual atoms, but most everyday objects that we encounter are electrically neutral. Even though there are trillions and trillions of electrons and protons in your body or in the pencil you're holding or your chair, the, the number of them is approximately equal. And so the positive charges all balance out the negative charges and you have no net charge. Now it is possible for an atom to not have an equal number of protons and electrons. I could take this electron here on this atom, for example, and remove it. And if I did that, there's now one less electron. A charged particle like this is called an ion. It's also possible for an atom to acquire an extra electron. So I've put an additional electron on here, so now it's negatively charged. It has one more electron than protons. It's an ion once again. A particle that's charged is called an ion. And an atom gains a charge like that by either gaining or losing electrons. Now it's important to understand that the atom does not gain or lose protons. The protons are stuck down there in the nucleus and they're fastened into the nucleus very very tightly by the strong nuclear force. The electrons are much more loosely bound to the atom, especially the electrons on the outer edge, the ones on the outer layer, and they're more easily moved. So it's these outer electrons that can be rubbed off and can be caused to move from one atom to another. So in general, object, objects are charged by gaining excess electrons, in which case they become negatively charged, or by having an electron deficiency in which case they become positively charged. Objects are never charged by adding or removing protons. If you comb your hair with a plastic comb or you rub a balloon on your hair, you rub electrons off of your hair and they stick to the plastic. In that case, electrons are leaving your hair and your hair has an electron deficiency. Your hair becomes positively charged. Electrons leave, but all the positive protons are still left in your hair. So your hair becomes positively charged and that's why your hair sticks up because all the hairs are positively charged and they tend to repel each other. So if you rub a comb or brush your hair, sometimes your hair develops a static charge and starts to stick up because of the repulsion, the, the electrical repelling force of all of the protons. At the same time, the comb or the brush that you're rubbing your hair with or a balloon as the case may be builds up a static negative charge and that negative charge is due to excess electrons on the plastic. And when that happens, you can see the negative plastic object attract the positively charged hairs. The, the balloon will tend to attract your hair, or the brush or comb that you're using will tend to attract the positively charged hair. It will also stand up by itself due to the repulsion of one positive charge repelling another. 